Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello, hello, are we recording? Oh, hey guys, Casey Nolan here with Mind Seed TV. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a virtual private theater system. Now this is supposed to be like a movie theater that you can take on the go. You've got your earbuds, you got screens inside the glasses to help you, well, to give you the feeling like you're actually watching a 52 inch screen. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an unboxing. I'm gonna tell you some of the features and I'm gonna let you know if this is a deal or not. My name's Casey Nolan, let's go. All right, so here's your virtual private theater system. This is the box it came in. This is exactly how it looks. Wide view XL edition. Instantly transforms your surroundings into a virtual 52 inch widescreen. Personal entertainment center. Anytime, anywhere. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got inside the box. You have a wall charger. And then you have glasses. That's it, the box is empty, guys. Now look, look at this. This pops right off. Super easy, I mean, it's not even attached. That just comes right off, so you need to push that on there. And I don't know if there's supposed to be some kind of adhesive or glue or something that keeps it on there, but these are loose. You got your earbuds hanging here. That's what you're gonna listen to the movies with. You have your fast forward, rewind, okay buttons. On and off switch right here on the top. The volume, volume up, volume down, and escape because there is a little menu on the inside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and let you guys see what it looks like. All right, so this is basically what you're gonna see when you put the glasses on. Um, after you do put them on your face, eventually it will kind of merge into one picture. Your eyes do have to adjust a little bit to what you're seeing when you put them on. And this is kind of what it's gonna look like um, actually wearing the glasses on your head. So, and you can see even around the edge, there's like a little bit of a blue tint. It's not that clear. And this is actually what it looks like when you wear the glasses yourself. So, I mean, you guys could just go ahead and get a visual idea, and this is what you would be seeing when you put these glasses on, except there would be some light coming in around the edges. So there you have it, guys. That was the review of the Virtual Private Theater System. I really, really wanted this thing to be good. I wanted it to rock. I did, I wanted it to kick ass, and I just wanted to be able to wear these everywhere I go and watch movies and feel like I'm in a movie theater. But you know what? This is actually one of the less expensive brands and models of the VR theaters. And to be honest with you, there was a lot of features that can use some improvement. When you put these on your face, you could still see the light coming through at the bottoms. I mean, it doesn't really have a snug fit. This is just kind of like, it reminds me of like the, the plastic that they would use on swim goggles or masks. You know, maybe the, uh, maybe the improvement could be here on the padding. Cause if you block out that light, you know, it does give you a better experience. But when you have these on and you're trying to watch the movie, but you also have light coming through on the bottoms and the sides, it, it, it distracts you and it doesn't really feel like you're in an immersive setting where you're actually watching a movie. The sound quality is good on the earbuds and um, you know, the screen, it's not as clear as I would like it to be. When I have these on, I still feel like there's like a blue tint around whatever I'm watching, a little bit of a red tint. It's not the clearest picture. You know, is it a deal? I'm gonna tell you what, it's a deal. If you want something that you can just wear in the backseat of a car on a road trip and you want to watch a movie or two by yourself and not be bothered or if you're on a plane or a bus or a subway, you could wear these and you could watch a movie. But you're not going to get the best quality of a picture that you could if you were to spend a little bit more money. But if you're looking for something inexpensive, this is your way to go. You're only like 100 120 bucks on Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description. I hope that this video helped you today in making your purchase. And until next time, my name's Casey Nolan. Peace. I wanted these to be good. I really, really did.